Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordy, and welcome back to Need for Speed Payback. The time has finally come, ladies and gentlemen, to build the Porsche Cayman GT4. I know it's been a long time coming. I've been saying it for months that we were going to build the car in this game, and the time is finally here. I've also been working on this car. As you can probably tell, the car is a lot quicker now. I think I actually have it at a level 318, which is pretty darn good. So it's a lot quicker than it was before. <laughs> I've, I've had a lot of fun with this game today. Oh. Not even close, Mac. Who is the curator? No idea. She sure knows the fortune balance. Bugging me so much. Okay. I mean, the curator is actually pretty cool. I, I, I kind of miss the curator. You know, just commentating randomly in the game. But I think we'll hear her in the Speed Cross DLC anyway. Whatever. Uh, before I was so rudely interrupted by Mac. Um, yeah, I've been working on this Evo. It's a lot quicker. I've been having a lot of fun with this game, as you can probably tell. I've got a lot of money. 733,000. And I have 111 part tokens. So I actually have a lot to spend today. And we can put a lot into the Cayman GT4. As you guys know, if you watch the Need for Speed Heat Let's Play, I was enraged when I found out the Cayman had no customization, and even more enraged when they removed the spoiler in the Black Market update. Obviously, they put it back in in the crossplay update, but the fact that it disappeared, like, bro, they completely, like, the fact that this car was a reward for collecting all those flamingos in heat, and yet all the customization was gone. It, it bugged me a lot, but the customization is all in this game. It's actually the best anyway since in 2015 I think all we had was the need for speed design kit uh, I don't know though Here we are then Porsche came in GT4. It is the first car in the game. That's over a hundred thousand um, If you have the deluxe edition, so here we go then let's do it. I cannot wait to drive this it looks amazing absolutely dashing in the gray let's take a look at this i might even just keep it gray this looks incredible absolutely incredible i'll probably change the calipers though this calipers gotta go they're brembo calipers what about the porsche calipers man and we'll probably change the rims as well i, I didn't change them in um heat so yeah we'll definitely make Let's get driving then. Uh, we'll drive all the way back to the garage, I think. If it will bloody let me. Here we are then. Listen to that beautiful Porsche engine. Here comes Ralph with his fucking speed cross. I don't care. I don't like it right now, so go away. So anyway, here we are. So this car is actually one of the best cars in Need for Speed Heat. Uh, people don't know this because... Fucking everybody who customizes it puts the Polestar engine in and it's shit with the Polestar engine. They need to just put the other Porsche engine in and it's incredible. If you guys look at the crossplay update video that um, me, and TJ, and uh, Sora did on Heat, I was winning the majority. I, I think I won all but one of the events that we did that day with this car. So. You know this car is really good in heat, but is it good in this game? I don't know, but we're going to make it good. I'm going to spend a lot of time on this car. I'm going to put a lot of damn perks in it. So without further ado, let's get back to the garage and actually see the customization. Look at this. I can't get over how good looking the GT4 really bloody is, but here we go. Customization. Look at this hood splitter. Front canards, front fenders, it's got everything. Where was all this in heat? Huh? Answer me, Criterion, Ghost, whatever. I don't care. Right now. Look at this. So we got only one option with the fenders. We've got two options when it comes to canards. A bunch of options when it comes to splitters. Side skirts, we've got three different choices. We got another choice for the fenders. We got we got trunk lids as well, a bunch of spoilers, uh, rear bumper. We even got a choice for the rear bumper and diffusers as well. Oh, this is gonna be good. So let's get started, guys. Uh, so first off, we are going to go on the hood. Two options here. 
I do like that. The little nostril type things. I do like them. Oh, the headlights as well. Oh my god. Can you imagine this being in Need for Speed Heat? Like, these headlights would have been perfect. I mean, my GT4 in Heat looks absolutely incredible anyway. Um, but, like, imagine how much better it would have looked with... Oh, my God. Which one would I want here? There's the Need for Speed Design Splitter, but then there's also the Alchemist one. And then there's also the Massive Splitters we can put on as well. Dang. From Fenders. Extra Vents. I mean, uh, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna whine about that. Uh, we'll do the same here, I think. Alright, dang. I do like that quite a bit. Trunk lid, what's here? Oh, it makes this little lid higher. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Spoiler. Remove item. There we go. Vietnam flashbacks towards fucking um, heat. When they removed it for no reason. Let's see what we got then. Um, what's this? It's car. It's the carbon version, but also longer. Oh, we've got the big spoilers here. Do you know what? My taste in customization has changed so much this year alone. Like since I think February, my customization taste has changed so much. And I love the stock spoiler on the GT4 anyway. So even if the customization was in heat, I wouldn't change it. You know, except if it had this one because. You know, it's a little bit bigger. It's really subtle, but it's enough. Rear bumpers. What we got here? We've got a little... I don't know what to call that. A little curve in the bumper. Why not? Why the hell not? Tail lights. Okay, we got a uh, fully blacked out one. we got a little darkened one here. Why not? Why not go with a little darkened one? Uh, side skirts. We've got a few options here. we got this big one right here. Alchemist. That one's on everyone. Uh, that one's just your normal big side skirt. This one is, this one definitely looks a lot different, so we're gonna go with that. Uh, front canards. We got any jewels? We do. Do you have some jewel ones? Why not? Let's go with it. Uh, splitter. Right. We can go with the, uh, Need for Speed design or the Alchemist. And I think I'm gonna go with the Alchemist. It's a little bit subtle, but you can see the changes quite clearly. Um... In terms of headlights, I'm really not sure. We could black them out, of course, which would look amazing. Uh, but maybe I want to decide on the design first. Let's see what we got for wing mirrors. Okay, not really much different from heat, to be honest. But I, I'm thinking about keeping the stock ones. I do like the stock wing mirrors, to be honest. Uh, these ones look nice as well. A futuristic. These ones do look nice. I, I'm just going to keep the ones we have. Um, window tint. Put that all the way at a 10. Right. Uh, or a 9, whatever. Um, the stance as well. Uh, I think we'll do that at the end, I think. Let's actually have a look at the library first. And see what we got. Obviously, I already have a Cayman uh, for the drift. Look at this. <whistles> Looks pretty nice, honestly. I might go... No, I'm not going to go with that. Uh, my... I'm going to... Ooh. Okay, so we're obviously going to have a lot more wraps. Because, I mean, this car is customizable in this game. So, obviously, more people are going to have it. Uh, we've got this one right here. It looks really nice. Look at that. Ooh, I might go with that, you know. That looks really good. Uh, we got this one right here. This one's catching my eye. we got, like, a little race style right there. I mean, I don't understand the little race style wrap since... I mean, I understand them in heat because we've got this little sanctioned tracks now. This looks really good. Dang, we got some good wraps here. This one looks great as well with the stripes. Oh, I might go with that, you know. You know, this one's doing something to me. Oh, this one too. Except I might make it like, you know, maybe orange. I don't know. I'm going to have to look through these. Oh my God, this this one as well. Wow, holy crap. Okay, there's some really good wraps here for this car. Uh, we got a, the little golf thing, little old-fashioned race style. Man, there's some. We got a Need for Speed Heat style right here. Wow. Oh, we got a uh, Baron from Most Wanted, obviously. Like, why wouldn't that be it? I had that wrap in 2015 though, so we're not gonna go with that. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, that is perfect on the sides. Dang. I might go with that one, you know, but I'll do a little bit of work on it. So, uh, 
Yeah, we'll go with this one, but we'll change some of the colours on it. You know, I gotta say one thing. I, I do understand why people got um, upset that stretch tires were only available on drift cars. I fully understand now, because I mean, those tires at the back, especially, they look a little weird to me sometimes. I, I don't know what it is. It's really weird. Um, this car looks great, though. What is that massive black dot on the side for, though? Is that like. Where the petrol tank's meant to be, maybe that might actually be the case. Unless uh, I don't think there's any on the yeah, so yeah, that might actually be the case. Um, that sticker on the back on the rear window is gonna have to change, but in terms of camber, I think we might be perfectly fine. I mean, we can put like ultra camber on there if we really wanted to. Does that look any better? It does actually, so um. What about on the front? Like, it just looks really weird, and I would like there to be, you know, like, you can't even... It looks like you should be able to make the rims bigger, so then you can, you know, change the size of the tyres. And maybe that might be the case. Because in 20... Yeah, like, that... There should be a size in between those. Because the tyres look perfect there, but the rims now look too small. But then they make the font bigger... And maybe it's because of the brand of tires, because that looks fine. I don't know. That's weird to me. Uh, we'll take the tire text off, though, I think. It, it, it just looks a little weird to me. I don't know. The rims are a bit odd. Um, so the rims might change at some point. That stance, uh, maybe, maybe the front doesn't need it that much. You know what? Let's just stick with that. So, uh, let's see what else we got then. We can put orange nitrous on. That's going to be perfect. Uh, tire smoke. I'm not sure if we should put that on yet. Um, well, I would like some orange underglow if we have any. I've got orange wave. And we got orange underglow. Perfect. Right. I think we can leave the rest. That looks great. Holy crap. I do love... I love the look of this. I must say. I really do love the look of this. Maybe we can, um, mess around with the rims. Perhaps give it that orange color. Oh, that definitely looks nice. Let's just darken that down a bit, I think. Get a bit more orange, perhaps. I don't know, that's really odd to me. So obviously it's that color. But if we darken it, the color obviously changes. Like, do we need to make that more red or more yellow? Not sure. But that might, might be it, you know. So I don't want it... Like, I, I would love the orange, but, like, you know, maybe we need to fade it out or something. Be careful with it. Put on a bunch of smoothness, smoothness perhaps. Maybe even the clear coat. I don't know. I don't know. We'll leave that. Whatever. So, yeah, that's the Cayman GT4 customization, guys. Maybe the hood needs to change now because it's not like we can actually see the design that's on there. So, we'll go with this one instead. Okay. It kind of looks like the one I made in um, uh, the, the how I made the GTS look in Heat. Right. We could go with yellow. Man, I really wish... 
I hope in the next game you can actually decide what headlight colours you go for, you know? We'll stick with the black, though. We'll completely black them out, smoke them. Um, what about this? I think that's completely fine right here. Oh, we didn't even touch the diffuser and the exhaust. So if anyone's shouting at me in the comments, I really fucking apologise. Um, let's see what we got here, then. I think we're going to go with these... Honestly, let's have a let's take a look at the others. We've got a ghost one here. I think that's the need for speed design diffuser. We'll stick with what we've got then. Let's have a look at these. Okay, we're just keeping the stock ones. Okay. Um, maybe I don't want the wings. You know. God, there's the stock ones. Oh, we do have carbon versions of the stock ones. That's perfect, actually. And I really wish, uh, I hope in the next game we also have more dual tip exhaust choices. Because I want carbon fiber, but like, it's just the one. And it just looks weird with the one exhaust tip, you know. The car looks, just it just looks weird like that. But there you go, there's the Cayman GT4 customization, guys. Let's get to the tune-up shop and we are going to push this car straight to 399. We're going to make it as good as possible. Because next episode, guys, we're doing speed lists. So, uh... Yeah, we got to make this really good. Not very good choices, so we're going to have to go with a catch-up pack right away. 367 for 162,000. Obviously, we're doing that. So, yeah, we've jumped right to level 16. Uh, we've got a level 18 block right away. Um, I was going to buy that one. Um, level 17 head. Um... Should we just roll for extra ones? Or maybe let's let's buy all the 17 parts because that increases our like the more 17 parts you have, the, it increase it vastly increases the chances of you getting level 18. So uh, we just need a better turbo now, which is impossible right now. So let's um, we can't trade in any of these. We have 37 rolls, so we got to get something good out of this. First of all, we got to get a turbo. So let's get this done. Should be pretty cool. I'm so glad we're finally, like, making this, you know. Obviously, we're just going to try and push it to 399 for now. Chidori is what we're probably going to want to go with, to be honest. We got any uh, other Chidori parts we can buy? No, we don't. Uh, I mean, we can always wait, but, like, you know. So, uh, there's head block, ECU, gearbox, and exhaust. Maybe, instead of rolling for individual parts, we can roll for just Chidori. Because Chidori's the best, Okay. Uh, in terms of race cars, because my M3 GTR is pretty incredible. Look at that. It landed on a turbo. I Look at the chances, bro. Really? It, the one thing I don't need. <laughs> Let's go again. I never usually roll for the brand, but, you know. And I might even just try other brands as well. Um, but uh, I just want to start off with Chidori. But this is going to be the master build, pretty much. Level 17 head. I think we'll just go with it. All right, uh, so yeah, this is going to be uh, the master build, so to speak. You know how we used to call the, our best cars master builds all the time in 2015 because it was part of the story. Another level, another head. Like, come on, bro. Don't do this to me, game. Uh, but yeah, this is this is it. This is my master build. This is going to be my main build in this game. I get... Wait, no, it's fine. I think, we're, I think we need the block anyway. Yeah, we're completely fine. All right. Let's roll again for another Chidori. We got the um, brand synergy bonus right there. Top speed is only 2021, 20, and uh, Jesus Christ, uh, 221. I meant. Uh, I mean, that's a better perk and all, but fine, fine, whatever. Let's roll again for Chidori. Uh, I think this might be the last time I roll for Chidori, like especially if it lands on. Like, what are the chances? That's three in a row now. Right, trade that in and we'll try one more. If not, then fuck your six times brand synergy. I'll just do it in my own time. Let's see what we got right here. Chidori Acceleration Turbo. Like, come on, I've already got this. But I mean, it's better for acceleration, so we'll, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Right, let's trade all the rest of these in. Right, so we're at 389 right now. What does... Uh, oh, help. Here we go. Um, so let's see what the actual best parts are, of course. Um, so, um, is it going to tell me? Oh, here we go. So, Chidori's acceleration and brakes. 
what we'd probably need is outlaw speed and nitrous that's probably what we want um, or maybe a mix of Chidori and Outlaw because then we get the speed and nitrous and the acceleration and brakes which could actually be like dangerous like really fucking good so um, man I would buy that but like you know uh, then I'd lose the Chidori part so uh, let's roll for an exhaust and hope we get Outlaw you know I'm not replacing any of the Chidori parts unless we get a level 18 Outlaw, but yeah, that's what we're going with and we land right on Outlaw. How amazing is that? Speed perk level 17. I could have done with an 18 That's a waste God damn it. All right, we'll trade that in um, right. We'll just go for a gearbox then I've not moved from level for uh, 389 for quite some time here um, Can we land on something good here? Outlaw again acceleration Why? Again, level 17. The fuck am I going to do with that? Why? Why does it keep giving me 17s? This better be an 18. And it goes right past Outlaw. Now it's an 18. Now that it is an Outlaw. Wow, how convenient. Uh, right, ECU is next. Is this going to... I really wish this would refresh. Maybe it can. Maybe it does. Maybe if we drive away. I still haven't removed that decal from the rear window. I keep fucking forgetting about that. I'll do that after. Actually, uh, the rims have grown on me a little bit. They do look nice. Uh, whatever, though. I've, uh, um, maybe it'll refresh once we uh, uh, once we reset. So I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to remove this weird sticker from the rear window. And, uh, yeah, we'll carry on as we are. Oh, you can wait for inventory refreshes. Okay, that's... That's actually pretty, that's pretty nice. So, uh, we'll wait a minute. And, uh, yeah, then we can actually get some new parts. I didn't know that you, that you can, you know, watch and wait for the refresh. That's pretty cool. And that's definitely going to help me in the future. Ten minutes, that's pretty useful. All right, so we got a level 18 ECU, which is going to serve us amazingly in terms of Chidori. Uh, there's no outlaws, though. Uh, head, beautiful, we got that as well. Um, right. And now the only thing we need is an exhaust. Pretty much. So, we can get that right away. And, um, get a pretty good part there. But you know what? I'm going to roll for it, I think. I think we'll do a spin. And we'll do a spin for gearbox as well. Is there any gearboxes that would do us any sort of good? Not sure. Uh, but yeah, I'm probably gonna go and try and get for a, a go for a mix between Outlaw and Chidori because I think that is gonna help us very well in the future, especially in terms of speed lists. So let's roll for an exhaust real quick. Try and make the best we can. Maybe we can get all six Chidoris. That wouldn't be too bad to be honest. Outlaw, Nitrous, level 18. No, god damn it! That's an amazing part as well. No! That is an amazing part. And I really could have used that. That is an amazing level 17 part. Oh, and we land on carbon. It's probably level 18. Oh, look at that. How convenient that is. Uh, you know what? Fuck off. I'm trading that in. Give me a Chidori or an Outlaw. I do not care either way. Chidori, okay, acceleration, I will take that. Extra acceleration perks, we'll take it. We're at a 399 now. Man, that was some good outlaw parts that we've just lost there. Right, um, so we can carry on, but I'm going to try and get a gearbox. Is there a Chidori gearbox? No, there isn't, so we're going to roll for a gearbox. Hopefully we get something good. But yeah, I guess we're going for three outlaw parts after this and trying to get the best possible. And it lands on carbon again. Like, I, I don't care. I really could not care less about carbon. Come on. Chidori or Outlaw. I will take either. And it goes right past Chidori. Level 18, Next Tech. I don't think I've ever used Next Tech. Oh, I might use... I think I use Next Tech for... I don't know, but I definitely use Next Tech for one of my cars. No! I get in the middle of the two, and it's carbon again. Nitrous and acceleration. That's good and all, but no! 
We need one more Chidori. And then we can get all six. The so brand synergy. Chidori, Nitrous, watch this for 17. Oh, it's 18. Nice. And we got a level 6 Chidori now. Look at how much these stats have increased after that. But yeah, what is Nitrous? Uh, I think that might be Outlaw, isn't it? Yes, Outlaw. Speed and Nitrous. So imagine that. Speed plus Nitrous, Acceleration plus Brakes. It's going to be an amazing car. Like, it really is. So... Yeah, we'll trade that one in. There you go. Level 18, all Chidori, but we're definitely going to get to work on trying to get some outlaw parts. Uh, let's increase the downforce. We've got a top speed now of 225. Steering sensitivity, we'll put that. Uh, we'll leave it. I don't know how it's going to handle, but it handles really well on heat. So, you know, maybe it'll be pretty good. So let's actually test this out in an event. Uh, I kind of want a long event, but I also don't want a long event. Uh, we'll go for this one, though. Fight into the city. Uh, let's get this one started, and we'll test how good this car really is. In all of its glory, this looks incredible. Here we are, then. Let's get this underway. Time to crush this. Oh, yeah. All right, so we got a six-mile race round here. Not too bad. Let's go, and we are right out in front right away. Man, this is quick. We might need some steering sensitivity, just a little bit. But uh, obviously I can't do live tuning during a race. I think that's one thing he definitely has over this game. I mean, we're doing pretty well so far. This is pretty quick. And we're obviously going to want to make it faster. So we'll need those outlaw parts, definitely. But so far, we are doing pretty darn well. We're doing really darn well, to be fair. Now, I think we've got this one in the bag. But let's see what time we can get with this car, of course. Next episode on Payback is going to be speed list. So that's going to be pretty darn cool. I can't wait to do that. I can't wait to see how we'll do on that. Jesus Christ, I'm still getting used to this game, though. Like, this game is hard to get used to. I can't really explain it. But we are halfway through the race now. Definitely need some outlaw parts, but uh, that's something we can work on. Definitely. Hopefully, we get them in, um, you know, after winning races. Maybe we can get an outlaw part now. Do you know how perfect that would be? That would be amazing. This car is amazing. This looks great as well. Like, very subtle changes, like a little bit of a. Like, it, you know, it's not that much customization, but it was, it's enough for me. You know, I'm perfectly fine with this. This looks great. I, I just... Oh, my God! We went on two wheels. Midnight Club style, then. Looking really good. We're about to take the cake. About to take the win. Around the corner. Beautifully. I might not even have to do any tuning, you know. Fuck the steering sensitivity. And oh my god, sparks fly in and we cross the line. Look at that. 21,000 right there. Not too not too expensive of a race to be fair. Let's um we'll go with left. Outlaw? Oh, Americana. Okay. Uh it's a good part, don't get me wrong, but I mean there's no point if it ruins the brand synergy, so we'll just trade that in. I've been awarded a base shipment. Let's open that then. Get some more part tokens. Amazing in this game, by the way. They should have kept that in heat. Like, that would have suited. That is the end of this episode of Need for Speed Payback, guys. Wow. What a, what a car. I'm so glad we were finally able to do the, um, the bloody Porsche Cayman, you know? God damn it. It's been too long since we were able to customize this car, but here it is, folks. Look at it in all of its glory. We've got a beautiful wrap on it. I'm obviously going to put some extra stuff into this, of course. Uh, you know, extra detail. Uh, wow, okay, that looks that looks really nice. That looks really nice. We put, like, a little filter on that, I think. We've got bleach. Bleach looks really good. Retro. Maybe just take it off a little bit. Film stock, orange and teal, vibrance, black and white, cinematic. Oh my god, yeah, there's more. We got cinematic, cool, warm, grunge, vintage, desaturated, lo-fi, 
Vivid Retro. Oh, that looks really nice. That looks really nice. I like that. Holy crap. We're screenshotting that. And that might be the um, thumbnail. I'm not sure, though. But, guys, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Need for Speed Payback. That was the Porsche Cayman GT4. This is going to be our main project build throughout this series, of course, um, heading into speed list. This is going to be the main car. This is definitely, definitely going to be the main. So, yeah, guys, if you liked it, hit that like button as hard as you possibly can. Come on, share, and subscribe. And uh, I will see all of you in the next video. In the next Payback episode, there will be... We'll finally be doing Speedless for the first time since 2015. Not the year, the game. Whatever, guys. I'll see you soon. Peace! Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus! Man, what a cool-looking car.